Alright, so I made a decision to make a video, an instructional video, on the one thing I like to do every day. So here's what you need. You need a dog leash, a pretty long one, I think that's 16 feet. You need a harness, not a neck harness, this is a chest harness for the comfort of the dog. And you need a long board. I started doing this with a rip stick, but a long board is a lot safer because you get a lot more traction and turns. So invest in a good long board for this. And then you need a dog. Now I have a Siberian Husky. He is about six years old now, and uh, I've been doing this since he was six months. Now, benefits of this is he's a very, very strong dog. You never have to trim his nails. He runs on the concrete. He enjoys the concrete. Uh, and uh, his nails are always trimmed. I've never touched his nails ever. They're always perfect size. Uh, he's very active. He loves this kind of thing. Okay, ready to go, guys? Let's go. It's pretty cold today in Texas, and that's a good thing for my dog. He likes it cold. So I usually do about two miles every day like this, and I'm a big guy. I'm six five, so I'm pretty heavy. He's a he's a pretty small husky too. I mean, there's bigger bigger huskies out there, but he's the strongest one I know. And he's the fastest one I know. Now this can get dangerous. I've fallen twice so far. Once because I got a new ripstick and the tires were not very uh, done in. So when I turned, I just face planted. And once when he was very young, I was going downhill. And he could not keep up with me. I had to bail and I couldn't run that fast. So I face planted again. So it's been six years and I've only fallen twice. Hopefully this will not be another time. No, no, no. We're going on the logboard today. Here we go. Now, yeah. I'm always be uh, vigilant what's ahead of you. There's another dog. That's what I can do for the dog. So he will kind of tend to pull towards the dog. If there are cars, obviously, other people. You got to be careful. And also, got to be careful on turns and also bunnies. Raz, come here. Come here, Raz. You want to have some sort of a command for him to slow down. For me, it's come here. And when you want to bail, just step off the board. Okay, now the way I brake is, if I pull this, it stops. We don't want to stop right away. If I brake, I go like this, and I let the, let the wire break it. So, and I brake like that. Also, I can, I have a gloves, leather gloves break like that. So here we go, crossing the street. The car's coming. And he doesn't care about cars, he just wants to go. He's a dummy at that. This car is dummy. And he's fast. On the board we go about 20 miles an hour. Without the board he'll go 30, easy. So there's a hard car ahead. I'm gonna pass that. I'm gonna go left, left, left. It's a little windy today. Always look behind, always look ahead. It's safer to go on to oncoming then. Right. You can't see what's behind you, but the guys. dogs. He's got to stop and mark his territory. And that's a good thing before stop signs. Cause Come on, Raz. So you always want to have a smooth start. You don't want to just let him go. You want to kind of let him pull it a little bit. Same thing with brakes, don't just stop right away. Stop slowly. Now, you want to use the weight of the dog to slow you down, to turn you. He's about 50 pounds. So, I mean, I can lean back pretty well as long as he's running. We're good. See how I brake there? 
like that. So. This is where we thrive. Come on, buddy. There's that blue sky. He loves the concrete. He's got the grass if he wants to, but he likes the concrete. His paws are rough. But I mean, it's a good thing. His paws are like sandpaper. He's never had any hip laser problems. No, no, nothing. He's the healthiest dog I know. have to walk a husky he has to pull something you don't just let him walk around for a couple of minutes and pee he has to pull so if you have a hyper dog and you got a sense of balance or a teenager give him a longboard give him a husky give him any dog and they will both have a lot of fun anymore but I look like we're doing this. People love it. I get high fives all the time. I'm the only guy that's ever done this in this park or anywhere I've seen. I'm sure people do it but I never see anybody that do it. It's a pretty good workout for upper body too. I mean you gotta control the weight of this dog, you gotta kind of hold on to him, make sure he doesn't slip. You got a pretty good upper body workout. Good sense of balance. Nice adrenaline rush every once in a while. You're going pretty fast sometimes. Downhill with the wind. And I mean, this is the highlight of his day. And sometimes my day, depending on how slow my day is. And now we're going against uh, with the wind. Let's go right, Raz. We're gonna go right this way. There we go. Come on, let's pick up some speed. Let's pick up some speed, Raz. Come on. Oh, we're going like what, 20, 15 right now? Pretty quick. Faster than I can run, probably. Now, these are a little bit scary down here, the little rumble, st rumble strips. It's like the board lifts off, and it's very hard to balance on it. Raz, come on! Come on! You need to get a little distracted. That's the big thing, distractions. You gotta be aware of those. Any dog on the other side of the street, bunnies, squirrels, any animal, he will look at it and he'll want to go toward it. Now here we got no more concrete, so here's how you stop. You just go and you step off and do a little jog. And the board is way back there. Pretty self forward stuff. Yeah. Come on. We're almost home. So once again, you need a nice long leash, pretty strong one. Oh, we got to poop again. You gonna sense of that? You need some sort of uh, board with wheels. Long board is preferred. Um, you need a nice, comfortable harness. Now there are some harnesses that go over the chest, but they are designed to prevent pulling. They, they pull down when the dog pulls. You want to avoid those. Just a simple chest harness that is not that, that is uh, comfortable for pulling. Now one drawback is when you teach a dog, like I've taught Raz, to pull all his life, you can't you can't walk with him normally. He will want to pull. So if if you want to jog with your dog, or you want to run with your dog, or just do, go for a nice walk, uh, you have to kind of train him to do both, the pulling and the just walking. If if we go for a walk and he hasn't ran, he will he will pull you off your feet. He will want to run, and and that's fine with me. But my mom likes to run with him sometimes, and uh, it is hard for her because he he will want to pull her off her feet. So that is one drawback of you 
dog that you always keep trying to pull. This also works with the bike. One hand on the leash, one hand on the steering wheel. You got to your front brake. You gotta be careful not to flip. And it works really well. Whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm too lazy to go on the board, or maybe it's when it's too wet. If it's wet, if any puddle, and he wants to turn on a puddle, you will lose traction. It has to be a nice dry day with the longboard. Uh, if it's a little wet, I would use a bike. Now the bike can get a little dangerous because you, you only have one hand on the, on the handlebars. But uh, this is all dangerous. With a bike, I've never had any problems, personally. So that's about it. I mean, we're almost home. It's been, what, 15 minutes? Two miles. And he'll be, he'll be tired for, for about a couple hours. He'll want to go again, but we'll just do once a day. Once a day is plenty, but he, he'll, he'll want to go again in a couple hours. He's a crazy beast. All right, we're going to cross the road. Always be safe crossing. Come on, Raz, let's check the mail. Let's check the mail, Raz. Come on. What do we got? Bullshit. Let's go. And that is the end of our video. If you got any questions, ask away. Uh, if you like subscribing, that'd be nice, I guess. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know Raz and I did. Making it. Yeah. That's a good boy. And we're done.